So I wanted to test the limits of my soul. Watch two more NTR series. Does that make me a double cuck? Cuck squared? Cuck to the third power? Because I'm watching people get cucked non-stop. What's up guys, I have enough awardies, have any welcome to watch, plus grab more content coming your way. Switch up the intro because you know, I forgot the other one. So today we're reviewing again two more NTRs. These are again, brand spanking new, hot out the oven, came out this year. And the reason I'm reviewing these, number one, that's a little funny. And number two, first one that I saw. Which is funny, because it ends up being, I shouldn't have gone to the convention if I tell my husband. And I'll tell you why. So boom, Yumiko is our main character here. She finds that her husband is on a business meeting. And this happens for basically a year nonstop, and they're implying they haven't had sex with each other for that entire time period, at least a year. And she is fiending, she is in heat, she is craving, she is cratering, she is other words inserted here. Boom, he's on a business meeting, he leaves. The night before he leaves for his business meeting, Yumiko tries one more time to remain faithful and slobber this man's salami pole. He vehemently rejects her multiple times, goes to sleep, wake up, boom, he's gone. And then, well, the plot happens. So, she's in the house again, just fiending. And he, she just knocks at the door, she answers the door, and is our boy Kazuya here. Is that his name? I have no idea. And Kazuya is like, hey, what's up? Are your husband home? And she's like, well, no. I mean, you know, obviously he's on a business trip. And then, boom, he's punching her throat. And we flash forward about a day or two, and he hits her up. And he's like, hey, let's do it again. And when they are off like for the 20th time this first episode they both stumble upon her husband erotic manga i don't want to put myself in these shoes here but that'll be the equivalent of like me not satisfying my girl and then boom they go into my hard drive find all these disgusting videos i've downloaded for some reason and then watch them other from each other because that's exactly what's happened with the show and thinking about that gave me depression so that's the entire first episode second episode he hits her up again it's like hey we got a convention to go to let's check it out so they go to a convention he's like i got an outfit for you it's pretty cool and it's just basically so caliber four string bikini armor and he says hey strap this on right quick for me please you're gonna do me a favor it has a remote control device of her just being vibrated like this is a nine o'clock woman and she's out there shredding her stuff and being shown the utmost highest treatment by anime photographers now, i know in these anime cons anime photographers kind of go crazy when there's like these female cosplayers they try to do like the under the skirt panty shot like this is a fucking pokemon snap why did i say that and they try to make it as erotic as possible in a sense since it fits the mo because guess what she's scantily clad and she's also performing basically and boom after all that she falls down just puddles all around like i mentioned before and she looks up and it's her husband and she turns around runs away in shame and the husband's like wait a minute is that my wife guys let me ask you a question here before we go any further is this cucking is this an ntr if the husband himself was denying his wife an entire year and on top of that looks like he was cheating as well they don't prove any of that whatsoever but he wasn't mad he was just more shocked that she was there so i really feel like anger or like outright agony would be the appropriate response not shock that your wife is being scantily clad with vibrator like, you know like i feel like a range of emotions would fit there and then her husband's like wow you know what's crazy i want to end the convention this woman doesn't look exactly like you and then <laughs> yumiko's like well that is crazy <laughs> anyway i'm glad you had a good business trip and we look at her hand we zoom in <gasps> there is no ring on her finger <gasps> oh my god the end i guess they're still living together i guess kazuya just is out of the picture and i guess yumiko is good for another year. The ending to that was confusing, and I'm assuming they're gonna do more episodes of this, and if they don't, not fulfilling, not even a full NTR. I can't even, well, I'm not gonna finish that sentence, but yeah, overall, mid out of 10. Next series, Natsu Yasumi Akeno Kanojo Wa. Translated title on my. So, boom this one i feel like is the previous show's husband character but as a high schooler which i find comical for several reasons so we have nishida we have awakawa now nishida is our glasses black hair nerdy incel trope was very nervous and very shy but is fantasizing about this girl in front of him just getting fucked by him non-stop and he's flirting with her in the theater club you know like how nerds do 
how us true FNR 47 fans really do. And then Matsuka pulls up and is like, hey, what's up, Nishida? What's up, fine bitch? Dude, we should do something together. And then Nishida's like, oh, we were gonna go to movies. He's like, oh, we should all go to movies, it's really cool. And then flash forward to that day, for some reason, Nishida, the guy who initiated the whole asking out for the movies for Awakawa, the big date, wasn't there. They're implying that Matsuka did something to Nishida that made him not show up, so it was just Matsuka and Awakawa dating, and not Nishida and Awakawa. So, we flash forward to the movies. The movies is what, whatever the hell that was. It was something. I, I can show a clip of what the movie was. Anyway, so we flash forward out of that, and then Awaka was obviously pissed because she wanted to go off Nishida because she liked Nishida. And then Matsuka was like, oh man, that sucks. You know, he would have been a great guy, and then he pounces on her, kisses her, takes stuff while he's kissing her, and goes, look at this. Wow, this is weird. Um, I have this picture that is me kissing you, and I can send it to Nishida. I have his phone number. You wouldn't want that, would you? Naoka was like, wow, what are you doing? Blackmailing me? What the fuck, man? Come on, I just want him. I love him. He's my favorite. What the hell? He's my honey bear. He's my peachy boo. And then my school isn't really having that. He's like, all right, fine. You can make it up to me by coming to my house and it'll all be said and done. So she's like, okay, fine. Deal. Bet. Let's move on. And the other part of the deal was that they were to pretend that they were dating. And once he goes to his house, the rest is history. Because for some reason, this guy lives in a mansion. And in that mansion, he has a secret room that is a goon chamber that has a one-way mirror, 20 cameras, a bed under a spotlight, and a black room, and just fucks her on camera. And then now he has her on camera, he's like, wow, I guess you're on camera now. Guess you're gonna have to be a regular. We slowly start to see Amakawa transform from this docile black-haired chick to this bimbo blondie. It's like that meme where it's like the girl picks up a book and all of a sudden turns into a nerd. It's like that except reverse. Like she, she starts like moonwalking back from the book, drops it, bends over, goes back and now she's the blonde bimbo. Stacy, Geeka Stacy. And at this point, Nishida finds this out. After being like, man, she hasn't responded to any of my texts. It's been three days. Walks in to the theater room and sees him fucking. まあ、映画好きだから。ちょっと頼まれてくんない。俺の動画の監督してよ。え?とりあえず、オレンジ君よ。ね。すごい家だね。まあ、入れよ。そこの服に着替えてて。カメラはそこにあんだろ? And then when he comes in to the goon chamber, he notices five other dudes, almost at like the N-word, with cameras looking at Awakawa, bound and gagged up, about to get fucked by Matsuka. It's like, hey, hold this camera right quick. Also, press record. Also, put this mask on, don't say anything. Also, shut the fuck up. Also, stand over there. Once that's done, they start fucking. And then apparently it's live stream. So, I guess there was live stream sex. Hey, go off, I guess. They noticed it was making like tons of hits. They made like 10, 20K video stream at the, what they're saying from donations, from ad revenue which is insane buckaroos. And then the cameramen are like, hey, so Matsuka, can we get in on some of his action? And then he's like, sure. But he is a business-minded individual. He knows that these cameramen who just saw him plow through Awakawa here, who's getting the blonde Super Saiyan version of herself, they would do anything for that opportunity. And she would also be willing to do it if she was blindfolded. So he's like, okay, 500 bucks. Last forward to that happening. And then boom, they all fuck her 500 bucks. And then Nishida's the last person there to record all of them fucking. And then blindfold falls off. And she's like, oh, Nishida, is that you? Man, can you imagine if I met you and dated you instead of they don't? Nishida walks away and says, huh, oh well. And that's the end. Now, this is more of a pure NTR. This is the one that made me want to go, oh, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, it is self aware of how stupid the show actually is. There are moments where it's like, wait a minute, you're not my the other guy who I fucked that made me transform into a bimbo because he broke me. You're another person. And he's like, no, 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 I'm him. I swear to God. It's very, again, dare I say, comical in that sense. A lot of the NTRs have to be comical because take themselves too seriously. And they're gonna have all the main characters like kill themselves or something like that, which would be a little funny. Like, you know, like imagine like, you know, you go home after a wonderful 
beautiful day of working hard 10, 12 hours. Your hands look like this or her hands look like that. And you come home to her getting um, gangbanged by your friend group. That is a perfect reason to paint your roof red. What the hell am I talking? Maybe these did break my mind. Because why did I make this scenario up? Whatever, regardless, that was the end of that show. It was oddly satisfying ending. At the end of the day, NTR may not be for you because of damn sure is not for me all right guys i don't have an outro but if i did wouldn't matter because don't make my video good night day three down the books two more to go little ho